And your work on the efficacy of electronic cigarettes is quite extensive. What initially led you to study e-cigarettes, particularly in the context of substance use and abuse? That is a great question. I, uh, I appreciate having that question because it really celebrates uh, the value um, and the importance of having undergrads uh, in the research environment. Uh, and so I guess it was around 2011, 2012, I am literally just advising students on, you know, what courses they need to, to take. So I had a young woman who had been studying abroad uh, and she's back into my office trying to get back on track so she can graduate on time. And you know, while I'm pulling up forms and documents, et cetera, et cetera, she's, she's filling the time by chatting about what her experience was in her study abroad. And she says, Dr. Pace, you really need to look at these things called vapes. And in whatever that was, 2011, 2012, I had no idea what she was talking about. And uh, so, of course, I Google it up while she's sitting there. And, and I told her, I was like, I, I mean, this is, this is interesting, but as a forensic toxicologist, I'm more concerned about drugs and poisons, you know, that are, you know, potentially harmful to people, cause impairment. So I don't know why I would be interested in studying these because they're just nicotine. And she says, yeah, but they're everywhere in Europe. And they were they were just beginning to really push into the U.S. marketplace. And uh, so they weren't widely popular at the time. So I thought about what she said and uh, about their prevalence in Europe. And, uh, and because I'm more interested in the way people consume other substances, um, I thought uh, the products at the time, you couldn't manipulate them, but I thought, we're going to get to a place one day where people can. And so if they can figure out how to open the device, they will put other drugs in them. So that's how the research got started.